evening. I'd like to call the regularly scheduled member, um, reg regularly scheduled select board meeting to order for Thursday, March 7th. Uh, um, with us tonight are, to my left, Justin Lawrence, Florence Smith, and uh, to my right is Jeremy Hansen and Angelina Capron. Uh, first order of business tonight will be to reorganize the select board. Uh, open to nominations for chair. I nominate Brad Town for chair. Second. Any other nominations? Those in favor? Aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. Uh, for assistant chair or vice, for vice chair. vice chair? Nominations? I nominate Jeremy Hansen. Second. Any other nominations? Those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Um, nomination for? Secretary. Secretary. Yeah. I nominate Angelina Capron for secretary. Second. Any other nominations? Hearing none, those in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. And uh, Additions and changes to the agenda, Dana. Yes, I have two items. I'd like to remove the school member, uh, a school board member appointment. Um, we are unable to do that on the select board level. There will be an election for that, and we're not sure of the date yet. Um, probably in April, mid-April sometime. Uh, and I would like to add a <coughs> warrant to for a check for the new equipment trailer that is now ready to be picked up so it's one item on that okay public comment hearing none um, Phil it's your turn yeah. well uh, as a member of the Berlin Conservation Commission uh, and the good news is I've got three people at town meeting to show interest. So we're down to four members, and I'd like to see it up to seven. So hopefully that'll work out. But in the interim, as we kind of reorganize and get new members aboard, uh, I was approached by a friend, Lydia, who is a citizen of Northfield, our neighboring town. And they, uh, she ran this by me about a race that would start in Northfield and come all the way over to Berlin and then go back using the Ridgeline Trail. A foot race. A foot race, nonetheless. So not knowing a whole lot about it, because I'm not a racer, and, these, and the three people here tonight are representing the organization that would put the race on. Is this going to use any uh, town roads at all, or is it all through the woods? So. The proposed route, and, and one thing that should be stated up front is there are private property owners involved, and they I've reached out to them, but I haven't received permission from anyone yet. So that's in progress as well. And if they said no, we wouldn't have a path through over here. So it's all contingent upon whether those property owners are open to this also. So we would come over the ridge, and then I would, I'm curious about the possibility of doing the pond loop as part of it, but it's not, if there were concerns about that, that's definitely not essential. Um, ideally, the interest is to create an ultra distance race, which means um, over a marathon different distance or, or around a marathon. So we are looking for making it as long as we possibly can, which is part of the reason that it'd be nice to include the pond loop. And then I've also reached out to the Mamba, Montpelier area, Mountain Big Association about using their loop, which is also, I think, partially on Berlin land and yeah. State mm -hmm. Forest and yeah. Montpelier. Um, so the, the ideal route, and I brought, this map has some extra things on it, but if you want to look at it, it has most of the trails plus some extra, <coughs> extra trails on it. Um, so yeah, we'd be interested in the Irish Hill Trail, possibly the Berlin Pond Loop, um, the Mamba Trail. Um, but we are you know, open to, if there are concerns about any of those trails, or so we can modify be, what we're... It should be pointed out, this is an ultra marathon over tough terrain. 
not a, probably not a lot of participants. Right. If It'll and when they ever got those that get to this side, because they've got to go up from Shaw, they start at Shaw Center, go up to Payne, <coughs> then come all the way over to Irish Hill. It's it's demanding. I would think even if they did use the loop around Berlin Pond for the extra five miles, that you would see no more activity on Berlin, on the pond on a Saturday. Then I mean these these runners are going to be spaced hundreds of yards apart, right. even if they're by that point. So it'd be like a, almost a normal Saturday. I don't think there'd be any. It wouldn't warrant any sort of monitoring other than having a, you know, what do you call it, a SAG station? Or yeah. Well, we'd you call be wanting to have an aid station. An aid probably station at the, at the Irish parking Hill lot. parking lot would make the most sense because yeah. the racers would come through that point more than one time. So, and there's a parking area there. And I think I mentioned to you in the email that they already do the Paul Mailman five miler around the pond and that's much more traffic and we've not really ever had a problem yeah. with that right. in the past. I should also introduce Colin O'Neill is from the Shaw Center at Norwich University, which is where the start and finish of the race was last year and will be this year. And we have approval from the Shaw Center and the town of Northfield to do the race again this year. So we will be holding it regardless. And we did a, a heavy half marathon last year. So it was a little bit over 13.1 miles, closer to 14 miles. And we had a 10K and we had a free uh, one mile kids race. Um, and then this is Will Ro Robbins of Ironwood Adventure Works, um, and so he uh, does the, the race directing, has all the equipment, the timing, uh, the liability insurance, um, so if you have questions about that, he is the expert in that area. And I am an avid trail runner, resident of Northfield, um, just wanted to see a great community event that would draw people to our town and see these wonderful trails and I think this this ridge line we have is really something special. Um, we have a special event permit uh -huh. that I could get to you and yeah. what it is if you were using the town road for example and I don't see any issue but with that but yep. um, it gives us information so that we yep. know that and we yep. can advise the police yep. and there's no charge so if you would if you're interested in yes. that, um, I would be glad to email it to you. That would be great. And so, yep. if you give me your information or, yep. or email me, yep. um, yeah, one thing I like but about I, it's approved by the board, so I would bring it to them. Yep. They would yeah. say yes or no. One thing I like about having this race combine Berlin and Northfield together is there's there's a relationship there that makes sense in so many ways because it could be a contiguous trail, and being on the commission, I just think the more we can uh, promote uh, healthy usage of Irish Hill and the trails and get people using the trails, recreating on the trails in, in positive ways, I think that'll just spur on some more town interest in what goes on in Irish Hill, maybe maintenance. You know, I know we're going to be working hope, you know, in the future maybe with Vast, having a trail up through there. I know it didn't happen this year, but I think as a select board, you are we in the final process of approving the use of they, they've got the use corridor? Of, they've got use of the uh, town road over the water and under the bridge. Right. Okay. Then after that, it's up to them to find it a way to get up to Irish Hill. Yeah. Yeah. So if if that were to come to fruition, that would be another uh, just another event happening on the trails here that I think can promote it in a healthy way. I just think there's a, there's, there, are, there are a number of residents that use it, but a small number, and I'd like to see a, a healthier number. I know even at the town meeting, Paul Irons even introduced, well, why don't we have a small lookout somewhere, you know, a picnic area where families can go. I think ideas like that are great, and I think tying in with Shaw, Shaw Outdoor Center and Payne Mountain and the, the whole network here, it's about seven, eight miles on the ridge line from Payne um, all the way to Irish Hill? Yeah, if you, from the Shaw Center all the way to the Irish Hill parking lot, it's probably about eight miles. Eight miles. Yeah. And I think if people knew that, was, I mean, it's a little bit of a gem of a resource in central Vermont. And mm -hmm. I think anything we can do to promote that on Berlin side is, is a, a great avenue for, and even further, there, there are maybe even grants and resources to help with the improvement and uh, you know, tying the networks together. And we're working on that same concept on 
the Northfield side. Well, I think we're certainly open to the ideas. <laughs> so, anything else? Do you have any questions about the race or what impacts it yeah. would be? Just the application. I think the, it's just the application. The yeah. We'll look at we'll look at the map, and then there, we'll just talk about if there's any traffic control needed, which I don't think. Yeah. And there is an, an is there an insurance requirement? We do have an insurance requirement. Mm -hmm. So I heard you say you had insurance, yeah. Uh, yeah. and the town would be named as an additional insured yeah. sure. for that event. Yeah. Um, yeah, but you, you would. I, it's explained to you in the, in the <coughs> permit that right. I would send you. There's and no that was all in place last year to cover Norwich. By the yeah. director. Yeah. Just out of curiosity, how many people were in attendance last year? 35 racers, and we had 22 children show up for the kids one mile. <coughs> so it was, it, yeah, it was a small event last year. We started working on it in April or yeah, in, in the spring of last year, so we didn't have a lot of time to publicize it and get it off the ground. So I, I expect Hopefully it will be, be bigger, bigger this, year. this year. <laughs> but what? it's not ever going to be like, Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people. You know, a healthy <coughs> size, 150, and, 200. And if we did this, made this distance that comes over here work, 150 would be a lot of people to do that distance. Yes. Yeah. Maybe there'd be total. hundreds in the whole event, but yeah. they, the percentage that would do the longer loop, 100 maybe. would be a lot. Yeah, maybe 50 for the. Take me two long weeks distance. to do it. If you include, <laughs> if you included the pond, how long would it take? <laughs> I have to get out so. and actually run the whole thing because I've done all of it, but in segments. But it's between forty. No, I don't know. it's between a marathon and slightly over a fifty k. So somewhere between twenty six and thirty two or thirty three miles. It all depends. The Shaw Center has lots of yeah, little lot of trails over there. Okay. Zigzaggy trails to add in to. And do you have a, a a date in mind where it would be a go or no go with those? Property owners. I mean, do you have something? I know you like haven't a, heard a yet. Last but minute. No, I don't know. We haven't necessarily a... set a date, but the idea for the race is that it's July 13th. So yeah. that's set already. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So we have to know so when it's enough yeah. time to where the course is, whether mm -hmm. it's coming this way or not. Mm -hmm. Are there? I have been looking at all of the property owners on the Northfield side. Um, and I haven't double checked the Irish Hill Trail. Does that trail cross private land or is that all on Berlin's property? I think it's all on Berlin now, but I can I'll check okay. with Tom and let you know. Yeah. Okay. One of the things which we want to do as a commission, at least one of the commission members is very eager to <coughs> map all the town lands we have and a, a clear, concise map where residents can go and see. <coughs> What, what are town lands, what we've purchased over the years, how the ridge line, you know, is protected in a certain way. And I think we, we have bits and pieces, but we want to put it together. Put it together yeah. and have something that's, you know, accessible. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Anything else? Thanks for your time. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Thank you for Thank coming you in. Thank you all. Nice Thank to meet you, you all. Yep. Thanks for all your effort. Mm -hmm. Take me five days in the car. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm just saying, take me two weeks. I'd be the one huffing and puffing in the back. <laughs> <laughs> and now we come to round table. And anything on your mind or more? Oh, the warrant. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is for Clark's Truck Center. This is who we're purchasing the equipment trailer from. The bid was $20,071. And that is what we're writing the check for, $20,071. Move to approve the check for $20,071 for the equipment trailer. Second. Any further discussion? Yeah. Hearing none, those in favor? Aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carries. Round table. Round table is anything on your mind. It doesn't have to be on your agenda. Or you can say nothing. <laughs> yeah. First time he caught me with a round table. <laughs> uh, so, Justin? Nothing at this time. Florence? It was mentioned to me that there's a booklet that VLCT puts out 
Oh, did you get two yours? copies? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> we, we just talked about that, as a matter of oh. fact, so I will get you a Excellent. copy. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. Jeremy? Welcome. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Uh, definitely go to the VLCT training if you can. Did, did you go to that last year? I think so, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's definitely, it's totally worth it. Mm -hmm. And they usually put out good food, too. So that's all I got. Thank you. And Julian? Oh, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. And again, welcome to the Berlin Select Board. And Pleasure to be here. I'll entertain a motion for adjournment. We don't have an executive session? We have no executive Great. session. Move to adjourn. Here's a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Vote opposed. We're out of here. Thank you. Thank you all. Wow.